tonight we're driving the 2024 Hyundai Palisade. I'm here with Substitute Topher. You've spent Hello. quite a bit of time in this Palisade this week. Yes, I have. You road tripped it. Mm -hmm. You've driven it a couple hundred miles. You've gotten about 23 miles to the gallon in it. It's been a minute since I've driven a Hyundai Palisade. I drove one at the launch quite a few years ago. This is a refreshed, updated version of the Palisade. Let's walk you around today. We'll talk about what it's been like to live with this week. Chris will offer some of his insights as well. We have a 3.8 liter V6 that makes 291 horsepower. That's mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. This has the optional H-Track all wheel drive. We have many, many drive modes and buttons. And this is basically the SUV you buy if you think you're too cool for a minivan, right? That awesome. sounds about right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of how I feel. There's lots of fun things to push in this Palisade. <laughs> you can push this, it even says push. And then you can push this. It says push. Ready? Ready? Three, two, two, one. Ooh. Quick draw. Got the jump on you there. Nice. Yeah. This doesn't seem as violent of a action as it used to. They're but more they violent in Volkswagens as well. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very cool though. I like that. Yeah. Wireless charging. No wireless CarPlay. Heated, ventilated seats. This Palisade costs about $53,000, which... Feels like a pretty good price for something it like does, this. Yeah, the calligraphy yeah. starts around fifty, but a base Palisade SE thirty-seven grand. Ooh, not bad. Mm -hmm. I like this dashboard action here. This, this is very Mercedes Benz. It is very Mercedes yeah. Benz. Yeah, it's kind of like a pinstriped suit. Mm -hmm. We've got ambient lighting. These buttons just remind me of old Audi buttons. Turn signal cameras. Let's walk outside. The Palisade is the Kia Telluride's slightly less good-looking cousin, but I don't know, I kind of like what they've done with this refresh. They're all kind of one and the same. The Palisade has a few differences here and there. I'd say it's a handsome-looking SUV. Tons of space. I like these. Yeah, I know, that's cool. Third row. Decent amount of room behind. We've got lots of buttons here to the left to push everything down quickly. Oh wow, look at that. Recline. Yeah, recline. <laughs> Just fold everything down. <laughs> Why not? Make it a van. Yeah. That one is not happy. Wasn't pleased. Not sure why. I think it just had an error. Okay. That's pretty good. That's a good flat surface. You could fit some furniture in there. We could sleep in it, perhaps. You could sleep in it, yeah. 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 I like just that. Just not in the middle. Just not in the middle, that's right. Yeah, captain's chairs in the second row. Let's see how easy it is to fold everything back up. We have buttons for the third row here, which is great. You've got one right there on your side. There we go. Nice. Quick access to the third row. I'm five foot ten. Do you know the best thing about this third row? It's heated. Ooh, I like that. Where is it? Oh, right there. It's right there. Heated seats. Uh, cool. I feel like I haven't seen a car with a heated third row seat before. I don't know. It's pretty ball. Maybe like a GLS or an X7 or something. Yeah. But you were uh, just in something that had um, climate controls for the third row, but not the second row. Was I? Santa Fe. Oh, the Santa Fe. Yep, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not yeah, the this, case here. This has climate control in the second row. This is quite nice. I mean, the the interior, the leather, the luxurious appointments here. There are USB ports everywhere. USB Cs. There's little homes for the seat belt so they don't rattle around. I've always thought that the Telluride and the Palisade are very thoughtful cars for families. They are. They've gone through and solved a lot of problems. And it's just usability stuff. They're just easy to live with, easy to use. Second row, tons of space. We've got armrests. 
Chris looks quite comfortable back there, seated behind my five foot ten driving position. Heated and ventilated second row. It did snow briefly this week, and these tires were frightfully slippery in the in the snow. It's because they're hand cooks. They're hand cooks. They were terrifying. I had no traction. So if you live in a snowy climate, I would recommend upgrading to a set of cross climate twos or something. These 20 inch wheels are exclusive to the calligraphy. Oh, wonderful. Don't you know? Wow. Would you like to do the honors? Yeah, let's look at this engine here. 19 miles to the gallon in the city, 24 on the highway. You averaged about 23 on the highway. In a real world setting. I mean, I was averaging closer to 80, you know, 78, 79. Okay. Um, and that's also with some combined, some spirited entrance ramps. All right. Um, we did around 22 and a half, 23. That's about where we're sitting now. I mean, probably not the most efficient option in the category. Large grill. It's quite a statement. The whole front end is just grill. Yeah, it is. It really, it's, yeah. it's a lot of grill. We joke about how that would become a thing, and here we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's go for drive. I do like the headlights though. This is kind of cool. What do the turn signals look like? That's cool. It makes that noise inside too. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it doesn't like being on without the key in the car. My personal favorite part about the calligraphy models in all the Hyundais is the Alcantara headliner. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. We get a digital rear view mirror. Though visibility out of the back is actually quite good, even with the third row up. We've got an infotainment screen that's pretty responsive. Physical controls for most things that you would use on a regular basis, like your seat and steering wheel warmth and your climate controls. Uh, we've got three auto fan speed settings. You can kind of go into some more detail here with this touch screen, but I actually, I like this. I think this is one of the better configurations in the Hyundai lineup. It works well. Yeah. I like buttons. Drive modes, eco, snow, smart, sport, comfort, uh, four wheel drive lock, which will lock us 50-50 torque split front and rear. Ooh, yeah. sport mode. Did you feel that? Yeah, mm -hmm. the bolster is tightened up a little bit. We'll go into smart mode. We'll just kind of stick with that. Something that you need to show in here, and that is the cube mode for the gauge cluster. Ooh. So you go into setup, and then you go to... Screen layout. Cube. Yes, cube, okay. Now, Ooh. that changes those to cubes. Okay. And they pulsate forever. Oh, wow. So I don't drive with them on because it's very distracting. Super distracting. They just they're always blinking. <laughs> it's one of these weird Hyundai things. <laughs> classic A, classic B. Ooh, I like that you could change it from the the white. Yeah, so I've been, I ran in classic C, which okay. is what you'd see in eco mode. Good, I like that. Um, That's yeah. a nice classy gauge cluster. And you can match the interior ambient lighting to kind of sync yeah. with that color. Cool, all right. Yeah, I mean, there's some clever stuff in this Palisade. There is passenger talk which basically just projects your voice to the back of the vehicle. Hard to hear from up here, but if you're in the back, you could hear me very clearly. Mm -hmm. There's quiet mode, which only plays music or things to the speakers in the front seat. So if everyone's napping in the back, you can put on quiet mode. And then when you're ready to wake everyone up, you can project your voice loudly with passenger talk. <laughs> so they've got them right next to each other. It's perfect. Yeah. What do you think about this push button shifter? Um, I do similarly to you, and I kind of like hit it hard because yeah. it's, it's fun. I'm always just kind of banging it yes. on it with my finger in anger. And I bent my fingernail back on it this oh, week because my, I hit it. my <laughs> fingernail landed right in the middle. Ouch. So now I've been hitting it very soft. Christopher, okay. But uh, otherwise, right. it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Love the 360 cam. Yeah, this is a nice camera. It's high res. It's dark out. There's no light, and this is beautiful. You can see so well. Hyundai's doing a good job with their cameras. Oh, and then it has this kind of panoramic 360 oh, yeah. view yeah. where you can pan around and see if you're about to run anything over. It's good for drive throughs It is. You're not going to run the curb over. Yeah. All right, let's go for a drive and see what this is like on the road. Steering is ultra light. 
which I like. Yeah, I like it. I think it's it's about right. This is a very solid vehicle on the highway. It tracks really straight. Sometimes with super light steering, it's hard to keep a vehicle in line and going straight and true with the direction of travel, kind of like the BRZ that we had last week on winter tires. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> yeah. But this, very solid. I don't really have too many complaints about the way this drives. No, it drives great. For its intended purpose and customer base, it does a pretty nice job. Yeah, super smooth shifts from the eight speed. Yep. Um, yeah, I this powertrain is quiet. Oh, it's it's whisper quiet. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it maybe gets a little bit grainy at the higher revs when you're really pushing it hard, but yeah. honestly. Bad. It sounds kind of nice. Yeah. It's good to have a V6. You know, isn't that nice? A lot of things in this segment are going away from oh, They're all just turbo four cylinders. Yeah, so that was kind of my biggest takeaway is that I appreciate still having six cylinders. Yeah. It's a very linear power delivery. Yes. No jerkiness from the drivetrain. Sport mode. Bolsters tightening. <laughs> Isn't the chassis like unbelievable for a three-row SUV? It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. I think Charlie Dreyer was telling me that uh, there was a former editor of Car and Driver that assisted in developing the chassis for the Palisade and the Telluride. Oh, really? Interesting. So that's why it handles so nice. Cool. Highway driving assist. How was that for you this week? You spent oh, a lot of highway miles in this. You know what? We've had a lot of these lately that have kind of been swervy, but this has been calibrated the nicest out of any of them lately. This one's sober. It, yeah, that's right. Um, and it lets you go about two minutes before he yells at you. Wow, that's impressive. If you're impressive. in cruise control with everything. The one thing I don't like about this is the lane change assist because you have to have your hands on the wheel for it to do anything. Uh, might which, as well just do it yourself. Exactly. Thank yeah. you for validating yeah, there, there that. There it goes. And then it cancels it if you give it an input so I don't yeah. it's, you have to kind of strike this weird balance between resting your hands on the steering wheel but not giving an input so it's, it's kind of weird you have to put more thought into doing that than just changing lanes yourself so yeah. not, not a big fan of sounds that. like a completely pointless line but I'm, I'm sure you can turn it off yeah in the settings yeah, yeah, yeah. that is one thing I like about Hyundai Kia products is that there are so many options in the settings menus to customize and kind of tailor everything to the way you see fit and the way you like it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But on the road trip, this thing did a great job. That's awesome. Super comfortable, no fatigue from the driver's seat. These seats are comfortable. The seats are super comfortable. Yeah. And what they do after about an hour and a half, hour and 45 on a trip, the lumbar goes in and out and it almost massages you. It's oh. like a lower back fatigue sensor. When I first got into this, it started to massage me and I couldn't figure out how to turn it <laughs> off for like five minutes. I couldn't either. <laughs> um, I just kind of accepted it on the yeah. road trip and just let it do its thing. Oh, that's nice. But I spent four hours in this car um, going up to Midland and back and it was great. Minus getting 23 MPG, but at least it takes regular fuel. So sure. it's, it's not horrible to... I mean, it's a three-row SUV with a naturally aspirated V6. All of kind of an old-school powertrain. You're going to get old-school fuel economy, and that, that, that's fine. It's okay. Yeah. This is a very pleasing interior space. I like the design of everything, from the digital gauge cluster to the buttons. Hyundai does such a good job with all of their the tactile feel of everything, from their turn signals to the button, just feedback that you get when pressing it. Yep. It's all very consistent. There's a, a nice soft and squishiness to everything in this car, and it kind of carries through with the way it drives, with the way everything feels in and out. It makes for a very cohesive package. So I've got to say, every one of these I've driven prior to this has had a light colored interior. I think I prefer this this black interior in this car. It kind of makes it feel a little bit more high end. Yeah. And well, I like the silver pinstripes and everything just comes together nice, especially the black headliner. 
yeah, that, really that suede is, is is great. Yeah, can't really see it too well on this light, but yeah, it does add a little bit of a uh, you know, a classy feel to this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, reasonably quiet on the highway. I like that we get a head-up display. For night driving, we've got a switch over here to the left to control our gauge cluster brightness, and that controls the brightness of everything in the interior, as it should, unlike what that. Toyota and Lexus are doing these days. Yeah. And you have one of a hundred settings. <laughs> Actually, I don't like 20. I want 21. <laughs> so we're going to go with that. One fluke that I noticed with this is that the tachometer is a little bit overzealous in its readout. Like the engine actually isn't that responsive. It doesn't shift that quick. But no, this is a very nice car. It's honestly kind of hard to find fault with this Palisade, much like the Kia Telluride. Yeah. Personally, I've always kind of preferred the Palisade, at least the interior. They have some more mm -hmm. clever things. The I don't know, it just feels like a slightly higher quality vehicle. Yeah, but I prefer the exterior design of the Telluride. Same. I'm, yeah. I'm right there with you. Just personal preference. Also, over on the passenger side, I have lumbar adjustment. Oh, yeah. I have up and down. So, good amount of adjustment over here for the passenger seat, which is often overlooked, even sure. in, you know, cars that are 50 grand. I mean, there are base model BMW hatchbacks that cost 50 grand with no options. Yeah. And <laughs> this is just so much car for the money. Yeah, it is. Not to mention the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain. Oh, here. my gosh, of course. Yeah. Cool. Well, any more final thoughts on the Hyundai Palisade? You know, this is just one of those cars that is nice to drive. It's inoffensive. Anyone can get in it and use everything. Sure. And I appreciate that. I think for a car in this class, it just makes a whole lot of sense. It's um, a great option for families, for people who probably should get a minivan but don't want one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the second row and third row ingress egress, it's easy enough. Yeah, and it is. You can have this thing and look a heck of a lot cooler than your neighbor in a Chrysler Pacifica, so. Well, you have extra ground clearance, which everyone wants. It's an SUV. It's kind of got some cool factor, like this and the Telluride are desirable SUVs yeah. in the space these days. I remember when they were like impossible to- <laughs> I know, yeah. They would literally sell before they got off the trucks. Yes. And this is a nice refresh, nice update. Mm -hmm. Hyundai's done a good job here. So any complaints? Anything you don't like about the Hyundai Palisade? The only weird thing I had this week was some weird throttle response in when I would come into a corner, the car wouldn't downshift until I was already straightened out and on the throttle again. Okay. So it would kind of go around the corner in like fifth gear and then it would downshift to like second and be at 5,000 RPM. Oh, wow, yeah. But I think a lot of what that is is the car kind of learning different driving styles. Sure. Because they, they do that. Oh, um, nice. Who knows? But I mean, really no complaints with this thing. Uh, no there isn't a lot of torque with this V6. Yeah, yeah. But the 8-speed makes up for it in just downshifting and revving that's up right. to five grand. It, that's right. It, the lack of torque probably contributes to the issue that I was just talking about. The only other thing is no rear proxy key. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Otherwise, though? Yeah, they've hit all the other marks for luxurious amenities, at least. Cool. All right, well, that's going to be a wrap. Thanks so much for tagging along. Of course. Giving your thoughts. Yes. That'll be it for this one. That's been a night drive in the Hyundai Palisade with uh, just kind of the new refresh that we've seen this came out, what, last year? Yeah. This is my favorite part about the refresh is this long continuous event here. Yeah. It makes the dash look really nice. And the new steering wheel, too, is good. Yeah, it does look good. Shared with a lot of the other Hyundai models. Yeah. We get paddle shifters, too. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll walk you guys around this one more time, and then we might just go for a little bit more of a drive, show you guys the headlights at night. Okay. The front garden is decent, too. Yes. It's not, like, amazing, but it's okay. Yeah, it just kind of makes everything easy. It's easy to get in and out of. It's easy to live with. It's not too big, easy to park. Yeah, these are the turn signals. 
Yeah. Yeah. They look cool. They're very bright. Chris, why don't you drive? Okay. We'll, we'll use the paddle shifters some. It's what the people want. What are we using? Paddle shifters. Oh, we're using the paddle shifters. Sport mode. So the bolster will hug me now. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this illuminated cubby storage down here. I, if I saved my, oh, I definitely did not save my, my seat. That's somebody's seat. Oh, it's got a leg extension. Did yeah. you ever notice that? I did, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a whole lot of buttons over there to control that driver's seat. Holy moly. Side bolster adjustment, like lumbar, massage. Yeah. All the things. It's I'm like, I'm basically in a Velostran right now with the, how <laughs> tight this seat is holding me. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like, doesn't it? Should we do some off-roading? Yeah. I think we can clear some this. Some off-roading? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Call that a pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to get into manual mode, just hit the left paddle, or the right paddle, I suppose. Okay, decent reaction time from the paddles. I mean, it's no slouch. No, it's no, it's no slouch. like a two second delay. Okay. <laughs> we'll put it back in the drive. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the chassis here is is fine. I don't think it's class leading. The, you know, the Mazda CX-90 definitely handles oh, a lot better. It's more fun to drive. Yeah. Um, and the throttle response is it's there in sport mode. Yeah. I agree. CX-90 is definitely top on top for, yeah. for chassis, but it would be nice if they were to modernize this with an optional powertrain that's like a plug-in hybrid or a hybrid that was a little bit more that's fuel true. efficient. Um, Hyundai has plug-in hybrids, just not with their Palisade. And their hybrids honestly aren't really that much more efficient than their standard gas cars. So. True. It's true. Hyundai, if you're listening, plug-in hybrid Palisade would be choice. That would be great. Plug-in hybrid with a V6 though? Or plug-in hybrid with like a turbo four? Yeah. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't you're, matter. you're not going to use it. If it's a plug-in hybrid with like 30 or 40 miles of range, That's you're probably true. not even going to turn that engine on. Yeah. The ride is really nice here. Too. It is very yeah. soft. Soft damping. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. Is the like giving it 10% throttle and it's like 6,000 RPM. So. Yeah, there's a bit of non-linear throttle tuning going on. I like this closed sometimes too. This, this is just a nice yeah. space to nice have clean, open to put things. Surface there. Yeah. If you are somebody that eats in your car during your lunch break or something, you can set your meal right here on this. That's surface. right. A panini in your palisade. Yeah. Pizza in the palisade. Pretzels in your palisade. Pork belly in your palisade. <laughs> the light steering here. Yeah. Nice for maneuvering this thing. Rough road here. This ride is just fantastic. Even yeah. on these 20s, there's not a lot of NVH no. or intrusion coming into the cabin over potholes. Hyundai used to really struggle with that back in the day, and now they've done a pretty good job. All right, well, that's all we have to say about the Hyundai Palisade. Yes. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Go check out Chris's channel at Topher Drives yes. on YouTube. I have a road trip. Uh, it's already live. It went live at the day this is being filmed. So, All right, guys. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.